you guys that rack. This is one that I built a few years ago. It's not all that great. And I'm getting rid of it. Because I just bought two vision racks that hold these same size tubs. They hold the 32 quart Sterilites. And they are both 10 tubs high. And I was able to find them on Craigslist for $125 a piece. And it came with a Helix thermostat. So that I don't have to use this old Ranco anymore. They are very reliable, but that clicking sound I don't really care for. I like the proportional control on the Helix. And this one, it just, I can hear that clicking sometimes at night. And I've had problems falling asleep because of it. The new, the new vision racks that I got were very dirty. They were used and had about a quarter inch of dirt covering all the shelves and everything. So, I've got another project going on in the backyard today where I'm completely cleaning and disinfecting every piece of those vision racks. I've got a gallon of bleach out there, tubs that I'm soaking everything in, washing them down, making sure that my new snakes and my old snake do not get any kind of infections. Hope you enjoyed my video. Like I said, this is my first video. And that's it. See you later. Hey guys, this is my new snake rack. It's a vision um, can't remember the model number but it's the Sterilite version and it holds 32 quart Sterilite tubs I've got my new thermostat right here and my heat setup uh, this right here is just like a holding tub where, you know, I can put the snakes when I'm cleaning the cages. Um, and it's also got the probe placed in the bottom of it for my thermostat. Um, to regulate the heat. So far it's been working out pretty well. Um, and as I said earlier, I'll be giving you some close-ups of the snakes. So this right here is the albino male. He's all balled up right now. It's daytime, not real active. But as you can see, he's a really pretty animal. This is the albino female. Another very beautiful animal. She's a little bit smaller than the others and I believe she's a year younger. You can see she's kind of got a dirty spot on her head. I've been trying to clean it off but I'm not really sure what it is. She came shipped to me that way. Um, so I guess the next time she sheds, that'll come off. Because they're real picky about you touching their heads. But this is a, a very beautiful animal here. Next, this is my female het albino. She's 
probably the biggest snake I have. Um, I don't have a scale yet, so I can't weigh them. But she's also very temperamental. This is not a very nice snake. She uh, doesn't seem to be like to be held a lot. She hisses. And then this is my male het albino. He's ready to breed. Um, but unfortunately, I do not have any females that are breeding size yet. It'll probably be uh, next year before I do, unless um, I can order some adult females, which I may do here in the future, um, to fill up some of these other spots. And I can start breeding him to prove him out. Um, I've had him ever since he was a hatchling and he has a temper on him too but that also makes him a great eater he will strike as soon as the food hits the bottom of this tub he just goes crazy he loves food loves to eat um, so I also gotta watch overfeeding him But, as you can see, the rack's all put together, and I have another one of these racks that's identical, um, that I got off of Craigslist for $250. These normally sell for uh, $400 a piece, brand new. And... The guy also threw in this Helix thermostat for free. Um, I checked, this runs about $135. So, all in all, I got a really sweet deal here. Um, and I've actually got a professional rack, not that homemade thing I had before. It just looked worse than this. But anyways, that's my snakes and my snake wreck.